Hello everyone, this is Umay Hassan and you are watching CSS uh, GSA lecture series. Uh, this is lecture number 21 of this uh, lecture series. We are going to discuss about construction of pie chart in this lecture uh, and in the upcoming video we will uh, talk about interpretation of pie chart and uh, a question from your past paper. So in this we are just going to discuss about pie chart and how to construct a pie chart. Well pie chart is basically a circle. Uh, divided into different sectors or slices. Each sector or slice shows a particular number, a particular part of that whole circle. For example, this is a circle in which we have given total number of students in a school. Total number of students in a school are basically represented by this whole circle. This whole circle is representing total number of students in our school. Out of those total number of students, we have classified our students in different sectors. This sector belongs to English, those students studying English. This sector belongs to those number of students who are studying maths. This sector belongs to those number of students who are studying science and this sector belongs to those number of students who are studying geography. So complete school represented by this complete circle is divided into different sectors and each sector is representing a particular category. This is a pie chart. So sector represents student in each subject. Sector represents number of students in each subject while circle represents whole data set how to construct a pie chart this table is given in which uh, a, a routine of a student is told what a student do in 24 hours 7 hours for school 8 hours for sleeping 1.5 hours for eating 3.5 hours online and four hours for other activities. Now you need to construct a pie chart. Now for pie chart construction, you need to have angle for each sector that is in the pie chart. Angle for sector of school. Now these are different categories, school, sleeping, eating, online, others. We have to calculate their angles because we have to draw a diagram on a circle and in circle you need angles to represent each sector. Number of hours for school are 7 divided by total number of hours that is 24 in day night and the total angle for circle is 360 degree. From here you can get angle for school that is 105 degree. Angle for sleeping is number of hours for sleeping divided by total number of hours into 360. Well, that is 120. The answer is 120. Similarly, you can calculate angle for eating. 1.5 hours spent on eating divided by total number of hours that are 24 into 360, the total angle in a circle. Similarly, angle for online and angle for others. I have computed them. Now I am going to draw it on a pie chart using a D. Uh, well, how you how you can construct your pie chart? This is termed as angle zero. I am going to start over here. This is center of circle. So first of all, join them with a straight line. I am going to start from here. Look, I am going to start from here. The first sector is for school having an angle of one zero five. Place your D on this line and measure an angle of 105 this is 0 this is 90 this is 100 this is 110 so 105 is right over here this is 105 so join it with center this one okay this is for school this sector is for school the next one is for sleeping that has an angle of 120. So 120 
angle on this circle will start from here place your d on this line where you have ended where you have just ended place your d over here this is zero i need to go up till 120 this is zero so 120 is this one this one right over here so going to join this point over here this is the second sector that is for sleeping the third sector is for eating having an angle of 22.5 again start from here and mark an angle of 22.5 like this i am starting from here again place your d at the center center of d should be at the center of circle no angle is 22.5 this is 0 10 20 22.5 this is over here 10 20 22 this is 25 this is 22.5 right over here so join the center with this 22.5 my marker is not working well anyways this sector is for eating this is for eating the next is 52.5 spend on online starting from here place your d on this line center of d should be at the center of circle like this and mark an angle of 52.5 0 50 55 over here and join it with the center so this is from here till here it is 52.5 and it is representing online this is online part and the rest one will be 60 the rest one will be 60 and that represent other so you have to start from somewhere by placing your d exactly on the starting line center of d should be at center of circle counting should start from zero till the angle you want so this is the pie chart representing this table this is for school well this angle is 105 this angle is 120 this angle is 22.5 this angle for online is 52.5 and this angle is 60. so in this way you can construct your pie chart in the next video uh, i will uh, discuss the interpretation how to uh, interpret a pie chart how to discuss the details in a pie chart and a relevant question from CS Pass paper so keep watching thank you so much